Let's now get more perspective on our review of the judiciary in 2021. And joining us to discuss this is the president of the Nigerian Bar Association, the NBA, Mr. Ulumide Apata. You're welcome to the News at 10. Thank you, Ari, for having me. Thank you. And All Happy right. New Year. Happy New Year to you, sir. So let's start by looking at the judiciary um, in 2021. What's your level of assessment? I mean, how would you say the judiciary fared last year? Well, well, I have the feedback from the bar, from the, from the lawyers, is that uh, we still have ways to go in terms of how the judicial system works. Um, I am mindful of the fact that those who operate the system are operating under really, really difficult circumstances. But the hard truth is that um, there is so much more work to be done in order that we may have a more efficient, a more optimal system. Um, for the lawyers, it is often a very painful experience um, running through our court systems. And for those who are the users of the system, the clients, the, uh, for them, they leave our courts sometimes more befuddled than when they stepped in there in the first place. When we give this feedback, you find that the operators of the system sometimes become defensive and they're up in arms, upset at the bar, we speak in this manner, but it's really not about individuals. Uh, it's about a system that is not really working as optimally as it should. 2021 came with its own challenges, so we must also bear that in mind. But even when you take away those challenges, when you remove those challenges, we still have a system that needs quite a bit of work, you know, to catch up and um, to, to be more user-friendly, if I may say so. So let's talk about the issues of uh, reforms. I mean, because we talk about financial autonomy, we talk about um, uh, conflicting court orders, corruption uh, in, in the judiciary. Uh, what kind of reforms do you think we can um, start uh, looking at for the year 2022? Well, I think, um, I think Shola got it right, Shola Shoele, who spoke just before me, that a lot of the issues that we talk about are not new. So in terms of reforms, I think we need to sit down and begin to tick the boxes and deal with them one after the other. For the NBA, which I am privileged to lead at the moment, for us, we are very worried firstly about the system of appointment of judges and justices so there must be reform in that regard how do we appoint our judicial officers uh, to quite a number of us the system needs to be rejigged system of appoint appointment because that's the starting point point. and you also what, talk about issues of discipline as well oh yeah 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 so there is the issue of discipline so when the when you go past appointment then the issue of discipline is also very critical. Then when you go beyond that, financial autonomy, we know the problems, we know the issues, we know why Jusun went on strike early on in the year 2021. Those issues remain front burner issues and they must be dealt with. I don't know whether it is so much about articulating the problems as it is actually just, that's not what we need at the moment. We know them and um, we need to go in and, uh, you know, get some quick wins with regard to the judiciary. All right, we'll leave it at that. Um, Mr. Olumidi Akpata, President of the Nigerian Bar Association, we thank you for your thoughts on the news at 10. Thank you, Ayo. Thank you for having me.